There are many factors that can cause musical instruments to go out of tune due to atmospheric changes. For instance, changes in temperature and humidity can affect some sensitive instruments. As temperatures fluctuate, instruments may expand or contract. This causes the instrument to go slightly out of tune. To show us how these challenges can be fixed, on today's episode, we look at a career of a piano tuner. Shana was Tiba Kubalungis was Chaya Chayana, Pati Raini. I don't know, maybe you produce a sound, or niggas are banned to Ama instruments. Would you be bent some sevens now? It should be sound engineering to make sure the music or instruments are always in tune and ready for use. Emon Wanjan Langa Fanelaga in Tirolo. Like a very outgoing personality, good with people. Because you can't really be by yourself with all that in it. You should be, be able to listen to what your client wants. You should be friendly enough to understand and everything. I think they earn at least 2500 Per month, I would think maybe four to five grand, perhaps. 10000 20000 maybe. A month. You need at least physics to understand the sound. physics to understand the sound. Maybe art. drama. Music theory, perhaps. I'll just say you'd need a good music background. Possibly go overseas because that's where most professionals are found. A college, yeah, maybe Boston. Yeah, I think Nase after Ongaya. I don't really know if you need any studying for music tuner because if you know your basics of music, it's fine. Shana was talking about Toro Wakui. In the movie business, uh, for the sound crew and making movies, etc. Theatres, more TV, yeah. In studios, with bands. When I was like, 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 I was Possibly not because I'm not, I'm not as confident as most people and I'm not easy to talk to most of the time. <laughs> When I'm going to meet now, can I can I come be mingled and tempo? I can't throw a sicko. Long time list. Carry board. Yalanzela. A piano is a very complex musical instrument. It contains about 230 strings, 88 keys, and more than 4,000 working parts, depending on the size and model. A piano tuner makes sure that all these parts are functioning and that the sound the piano produces is on pitch. Although the minimum prescribed educational qualification is a grade 10 pass report, a senior certificate is preferred, with music as a recommended subject. To be a good piano tuner, you will need good hearing for pitch and quality of sound, practical hand skills, patience, the ability to deal with a wide variety of people, punctuality and reliability. As a piano tuner, you can work for piano manufacturers, piano repair shops, recording studios, and concert halls. With enough capital and experience, you can start your own business. By John Zibasiku, Ibalush Kulunchale, and Tasha Pretoria Central, Latswane, I'm getting in Tangan Navona. My name is Avdona Bosman, I can school in Pretoria Central. I play in Pretoria Central, I was 18 years old, and I was 18 years old. I came to myself as a 
Mensen zijn baie um, gelukkig is, blij gelukkig. Het is baie kort op die meer. Ik raak baie vinnig gewaad, maar ik is baie vriendelijk, gesels met allemaal, communikeer met allemaal. Ik is baie lief oor wetenskap, maar ik kom nie baie recht met wetenskap nie. So ek het wetenskap gevat, wat ek baie lief is in wetenskap. My droomkarree is om graag een muziekinstrument toe te wees. Ek hou baie van muziek so, ja. My name is Shadea O'Reilly, I am 17 years old. I am in grade 11 and I attend Victoria Central High School. In a few words, I would describe myself as a crazy person, fun too, I'm lovable, and I can say that I'm intelligent too. A few of my strong points are that I am a very artistic person. I like to think of myself as an independent young woman, um, and I'm a lovable person. I like to communicate and work with people and children. My dream career is music instrument tuning. Okay, so you guys want to get into the music field, hey? Yeah. Okay, tell me why. Let me start with you. Well, because nobody would have ever thought about going into the field of music instrument tuning. Uh -huh. It's kind of like the underdog field. Yeah. It's very interesting if you actually get into it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's one of the factors why I actually would like to be in that kind of field. Yeah. Okay, let's hear from you. So, not, not everyone can play instruments. Mm -hmm. So since I can do it, I want to do it. <laughs> mm, I want to do it all, hey? Okay, in terms of qualities, let's talk about qualities. You know that goes with any yeah. career. Okay, which qualities do you think will make you succeed in this field? Number one, communication. Okay. Communication because you, you, you have to deal with this different type of instruments. Mm -hmm. You've got people that you have to work with. And mm -hmm. I think if you have that kind of um, stepping stone, okay. it'll be easier for you and much fun. All right. Yeah. I'm very focused, so mm -hmm. with music, in instruments, you have to be really focused mm -hmm. and patient, yeah. and I have those. So. Okay. All right, guys, I have a surprise for you. Okay. <laughs> you guys are spending two days with someone in this world. You get to ask everything that you want to know about. <gasps> yeah. Exciting, hey? Yeah, it's really and you're exciting. going to the theater. Oh, oh. Nice. so cool, hey? Yes. Yes. All righty. Okay, <laughs> let's not waste time. Let me give you T-shirts for the show. Okay. And I want you guys to put them on and meet me at the front of the building. Is that cool? Okay, yeah. All right. Ba jonse ba ina ba bona kala ba tsake swinene ku ba ba kume nkarhi wo huma eshikolweni loko hi mavengeleni ita bona ku ro swi famba njani na mento ya siku Johan van Jun, my maatskapies naam is Piano Master. Sal met my vandag het ons vir Latrona en Shadai. En ons gaan vandag praat oor instrumentstemming. Welcome to the South African State Theatre. And uh, I just want to ask you, why are you interested in uh, uh, instrument tuning? This kind of field is very unique and nobody has ever thought of looking into it and it's quite interesting so it's, a, it's kind of like the underdog so yeah that's what actually caught my interest in this career for me it was very interesting to see that we can do it but ons can do it and it's very weird it's very focused and we can do it now so we can do it okay guys let's walk inside and then we can talk some more okay, okay. So why have you decided to um, go into the, the career of instrument tuning? Well, I've got a passion for music, I've got a passion for musical instruments and especially pianos. So in a way, did you actually train to become a musical instrument tuner? I did a three-year course at the School for the Blind in Booster in the Western Cape okay. during the period 1983 to 85. Wow! <laughs> so okay. neat! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, where do you begin to The School for the Blind in Booster has shut down about 20 years ago and we've got a crisis in terms of um, training people, the new generations of people, because uh, they haven't uh, trained people for the last 20 years. Wow. So there's quite a demand for this kind of career. Yeah, and um, we've um, registered 
Um, also, uh, the curriculum at SAQWA. That means that we are actually only looking for an institution that can uh, take it further and start with a, with a course. Are there enough job opportunities for upcoming musical instrument tuners like us? I definitely believe so because um, uh, uh, all the existing piano tuners uh, either get old or they <laughs> pass away. Yeah. So, and somebody have to fill um, mm, their, their positions mm -hmm. and uh, the pianos would definitely not go away because they last for, uh, for uh, yeah, a lifetime yeah. and more, more, you know, so. What type of expectations do you have for the world salaries? It's very difficult to say, but I would say um, if you... It all depends how many pianos you tune a day, of course. And um, if you tune, say, three to five pianos a day, then I can say you can expect an income from somebody uh, up to about 14, 15,000. Well, the only way you can really move up uh, in terms of uh, income is when you uh, might start your, your own business later on. Uh, because uh, there's quite an opportunity starting your own business. And uh, y yes, in that case you might um, do other things uh, except tuning, like for instance restoration, transport, um, repairs, and then uh, you might have a team working for you, and that's a way you can uh, increase your income. Okay, so we've asked your questions and we've seen how the pen actually looks. Are you going to show us how to tune it? Yeah, it looks interesting. Yes, well, absolutely, but um, that's a surprise for tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> of course, I'm going to take you to Piano Master's workshop. Oh, and there awesome. you will have a big surprise. Oh, okay. Thank you for thank you. Thank you. looking forward to tomorrow. Looking okay, forward to. You see it, Bajonza ba ina ba te kamba ba na ma fulu fulu sinene. Ai bonen kusuku le re ba komele yini. Maribali na weno ngasukoto ba na ina laka forty eight hours nzana loko uitalela eka email kumbi Facebook page ya ina. Welcome to Piano Master's workshop. We're going to do the first step of tuning a piano today. Let's go inside and show you the first steps of tuning a piano. Okay, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got basic tools, and that's what we mostly use in order to tune a piano. So the first uh, Two is what we call a tuning lever. You put on the pins like that, and you, and you turn your your pins in order to tune the piano. This is what they call a scale wedge. That is to isolate your strings. So you put it in the uh, in between the strings in order to get one string. And in order to do that, you have to put in the scale wedge. And I'm going to start it because you have to start there at the F above middle C and there you uh, press it in and in the spaces in between you put so in you the... the pips. You use the paps, yeah, you can use anything but I use the paps. You can use a screwdriver but you've got the paps. Okay. So you can just continue doing that for me please. So, um, as a secret reader, we come on the fault in the snare and set. The reason for that is we need to get only the middle string, and that's why we isolate it with a piece of felt oh. on the both sides in order to get the middle string. That's the only way we, we would be able to hear what we want to hear. And then we've got the tuning fork where we first have to get the pitch. Where, that's where you start tuning a piano. You first need to get the pitch. And the pitch we've got here is what they call A440. That is concert pitch. 
And that is the standard which was set to uh, tune all musical instruments. I first need to, to build a scale on the piano. That's your foundation in order to tune the rest of the, uh, the piano. We're going to tune fifths and fourths. So the, the first one we're going to tune is the F below middle C. And then we're going to go to the G above middle C and maybe you can feel what it feels like in order to turn this tuning lever. You can feel it's not easy. No, that's too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, but you must turn oh, it yeah. very, very slowly. slowly. Yeah. In order to get very, the right tone. It's a very delicate yeah. way of turning it. And it deals with patience. Um, that's quite technical, but you have to listen to beats in order to get it right. Mm -hmm. Once you've built up your, your scale. whole scale, mm -hmm. you take out your, your wedge and you're going to use your paps now. And then you're ga going to tune your top string and your bottom string the same than the middle string, and oh. that is what you call a unison. Okay. So just try that one, and okay. then you press that That's note key. as well while you're trying that. Okay. Press it. Can you hold it? Hold it down. You want to hold it? Yeah, hold it down. Can you hear? Wave. You can hear it's better, hey? Huh? It's almost there. So I'm just going to find tune it for you now then you can hear it okay so once we've got all those bottom and top strings tuned exactly the same when we've tuned it on the middle string then we continue by using the paps as well with your octaves What do I need to focus on to become a successful music tuner? Okay, first of all, um, you need a lot of patience in order to uh, go through the learning process because um, it takes about, I would say, six months before you really can start tuning a piano. And, and that is if you practice every day. As you gain experience, you will tune it with uh, uh, maybe an hour or less than an hour. Wow. I am going to hand you over to Soli because he's a very, very good technician and he, that is his speciality. So let me introduce you to Soli. Okay, welcome to the workshop. I'm going to show you how the piano works. This is a hammer and this is a flange so that your hammer can strike the strings. Every time you play your key, that it hammer, yes, the, the, your notes hits under this the one. Sleeve, okay. Okay, and then the hammer strikes the key, the, 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 the string. Oh, and the string and makes the notes. They makes the sounds. Oh, okay. And then the other thing is the damper. This is the damper. Okay. It's also got a flange. Okay. And then if you play your key, the damper pulls away from the strings. Mm -hmm. And if you leave it, then your sound is, yeah, it is back to the strings and your sound is gone. Oh, okay. Let me take you to Joanne's piano to show you how the action looks like. Okay. This is an action which I said to you, from here up to here is an action. You can take it out if you want. And then this is a hammer and this is one of the new ones. Oh. Yes, and then inside here you can see the damper. This is the damper, and it's about 65 of them. The damper used to damp the sounds okay. when you finish your play. And then what happened? This is the check, and this is the tape, which means you push the, the hammer back. And then? If you play, you push the, your hammer back. And that one, that one is only the stick. 
from oh. your notes because the, the action is a little bit higher. You see what, what I've noticed here, yeah, nee, this is bigger than this, you see? Yes. And like this one is goes inside and this one goes like outside the string. Outwards. So why does it, why does it do that? From here, yeah, from your break, we call it a break. Mm -hmm. This string here is two, and that one is single string. Okay. This one is double. So your 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 v, your V dampers go inside the two strings. Okay. And that one is single. Your M just hold your strings like that. Then the damper differs towards the strings. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take you back to the workshop and show you how the base thing has been done. Okay. okay. This is a base string. Uh, it's a copper with a steel wire. So why is it covered with coil? Uh, to give it a nice base. A bigger copper is used for the single string. Oh. And this one is thin, and then it, it, it's used for the double. OK, thank you. Thank you, guys, for, for coming to Piano Master. I really think you enjoy it. Thank you, Tati Soli, for having us and teaching us something very interesting today. Thank you, Pasoli. Thank you. Thank bye. you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, guys. Yeah. How did it go? Uh, today it was actually fun because Johan showed us a few instruments like the pips and the tuner lever, and he showed us actually how to tune the 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 piano and how to listen to the keys and how the keys make different sound waves in mm -hmm. order to get the different types of sequence in the, which the notes are supposed to be. Ooh. So that was really interesting. And how was the experience for you? For me, it was interesting learning about the repairing. <laughs> Today, I saw it needs a lot of repairing and a lot of work, a lot of focus, and it opened my mind and my eyes. Mm -hmm. I can see you're happy. <laughs> yeah, but eight hours has done it for you, hey? Yes. Okay, all the best, hey? Thank you. But I'm going to say, 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 my name is Brendan Hamer. I am the owner of a company called Simply Pianos, which is a piano tuning company, and I am the principal tuner and restorer for the company. Before I started my own business, I had the opportunity of working in Cape Town with some very prestigious companies, um, and for reasons beyond whatever, I came up to Janusburg and started. I started my business about six years ago because within everything, I want to give people the best service, the best quality, the best of, of my ability. And I see that in so many walks of life and, and, and industries that people don't do that. Challenges, um, keeping your finances in order. It's most important that you have a grip on what's going on. You've got to know exactly where your money's going. Because if you don't, that hundred bucks that's gone missing somewhere there and there could have been used for something else or, or you just got to keep it in check. That's the most challenging thing is keeping your head above water when you're starting a business. Our main clients are normal people. Uh, you and me, that kind of people that have a house that have a piano that want to teach their kid to learn to play the piano, so they buy pianos and then we try and instill in them some kind of a, a passion to look after the instrument. I mean, it's an investment, none, buy everything else, they're expensive. So that, that's part of our clientele. Who else will be our client? We get um, State Theatre, well, State Theatre, we've got the Janusburg Theatre, and the way we get to them, that's a tricky one because we don't really get word of mouth. That's how we don't advertise, so it's word of mouth. My advice to people that want to get into the business, make sure that, you've got, that you're passionate about music um, because it will help you along, even though it's not that necessary. It, it's important that you do love music because this isn't a job of, I want to get my week's wages and carry on. This is a job that, that you have to love. So you want to be a piano tuner? Due diligence. Do due diligence, read, research, know everything it is to know about a piano. People have the passion and you'll get along just fine. Facebook page